Hi, this is Rick and welcome to the very first Excel 2010 VBA tutorial and today's topic is going to be setting up the environment for um, VBA within Excel and VBA is uh, Visual Basic for Applications and you would be using this to set up uh, you know, advanced uh, uh, macros in your Excel environment. So today's topic is again to just set up the environment uh, so you're good to go moving forward and then the future tutorials will go in with examples of uh, more advanced macros. So I'm going to jump right in here and show you um, a couple quick things here. Uh, the first one is you notice up top here you've got this ribbon um, layout with all your different headings and you see there's a developer tab. You may or may not have the developer tab in your Excel 2010 um, displayed. If you do not, um, what you do is you go in and you customize the ribbon. And how you do that in Excel 2010, uh, you go under File, you go under Info, and you go under um, Options. Sorry, you go under Options here. And then uh, in here, you're, it's currently under general right now. You go to customize ribbon and under customize ribbon make sure that it has the main tab selected and then over here you'll see a, a little box for developer. You check that. You'll notice here if I uncheck it now the developer tab is gone. I'm just going to go ahead and add it back and I'm going to go back to customize ribbon, check it and say okay. Let me make sure you can see that on your screen. Say okay and there you've got uh, the developer button. So with that said I'm going to jump right in here and show you a couple quick things here. The first thing you probably want to check is under under the developer tab is over here the macro security button. These are options. Uh, the default one should come up as disable all macros with notification. Uh, probably the best one to to leave for right now. That'll disable macros unless you accept them. You'll get a notification. This one here you really don't want if you plan to use macros because it just disables them all. On the other end of the scale there's an option to enable all macros and it's really not recommended for security purposes so I, I wouldn't do that. Um, I would just go with this one here. Um, so if you make any changes there just click the OK button. And then over here on trusted locations you can have several locations over here um, that are trusted where you can leave where you can have macros and trust them. So there's a lot of default ones and then I've added one up here in my documents folder. So if you want to add a new location like your documents folder, you can click add location. You can browse to it. Okay, and then you know go through the directory tree over here. In this case I've got it already, so I'm gonna say okay and then you'll have a little box here when you get back to this that says subfolders of this location are also trusted you can check that box and say OK. Now I'm gonna get an error um, because it's already created and it's already trusted so you um, you should get a success message here and just say OK I'm gonna cancel out of there I'm gonna cancel out of here so then the next thing is I'm just gonna create a, just a basic macro um, it's kind of an irrelevant macro just to show you this is to work through the setup. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a macro. I'm going to call it, I'm just going to leave the default name of macro1. And you'll notice here there's a couple of different options. You can just choose for this workbook, um, which is, isn't very scalable. Then the next, op and another option, probably the more common option here, if you're planning to work with macros quite a bit, is to create a personal macro workbook. I'm going to say OK, and then I'm going to go ahead and put, we'll go and record a macro here. OK, so we're already recording that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put, let's just assume I'm going to put this um, URL here. Okay, and I'll put Orlando, Florida. OK, by the way, um, all of the tutorials will be posted out on this website, so they're easy to find, and, and, uh, and there's couple different topics out there on different categories and different uh, subjects. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording, which I can hit the stop recording button here, or by the way, there's one down here on the um, on the bottom. And this comes in handy when you're moving around different, uh, different tabs within the spreadsheet, so you've got it. Uh, but I'm going to stop it right there. Now, let's assume that I want to edit that macro. I can go in here to macros, and you'll see that it's labeled in my personal book 
workbook and then macro one. So if I click edit here, you see what happens there. I get a message that says, cannot edit a macro on a hidden workbook, and I must unhide the workbook using the unhide command. So how you do that is you go to the view button here, and then you'll get an option over here called the unhide window. I click that, and by default it should come up and you should see the personal workbook, say OK, and now it's unhidden. And now if I go back into my macros, now I can edit it. All right, And we'll get into this in later um, tutorials where we can go in and edit right within this window. And we'll talk about these different um, structures and layouts here. So I'm going to close that out. And now, um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, save that and I'm going to close out of Excel. All right, now I'm just going to close out of that and let's say I don't want to save book one, but I did save my personal workbook. So now when I go back into Excel, now I've got a, now you'll notice that it automatically starts with the personal workbook. And the reason why that happened is it's in the Excel start directory. If you cannot find, if for some reason you need to go and delete your personal workbook or, or you have to change, you know, you, you need to go find it for some reason, depending on the operating system that you're using, if it's Windows 7 or XP, you know, it could be in a different path. Um, but essentially, usually it's under the um, users, your user path, application data, and then um, I think it's under Excel, and then... It, it, it's I, I can't remember the exact location, um, but certainly if you have a problem finding it, you can leave an, a comment out there, and I'm sure either I can answer it or someone else can answer it, or you can just search, do a Google search. Anyways, with that said, now if I go in here and I go in and I create a new file, and I create a blank workbook, so now you'll notice if I go into Developer and I go to Macros, you see my macros already there, and and so now when I build macros, they'll be available in any of my, as long as I save them in the in that workbook, they're good for any new worksheets that I create, and I'll be able to um, use that going forward. So that's what I wanted to share with you today, and uh, I'll be posting the um, some example macros for some common scenarios coming up shortly. Thanks for joining, and please subscribe. Take care.